Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's good to be back. I haven't done one of these in a little while. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed some of my live paintings, but I thought I'd do uh, one of these where I sort of talk through the process. So here's a little 10 by 10 inch figure painting I did recently. It's going to be at my show uh, November 5th at a Bend Gallery in Denver, Colorado. So if you're in that area, go check it out. So what we've got here is sort of a quick, I think maybe two day painting. Um, I had some reference photos I took of this model and I just sort of one day decided I wanted to do this particular photo. So I started off with just these really basic washes and tried to pick a few colors from the photo that I thought were interesting and use those as like the general wash and I add some texture with my different tools and sort of start off the painting with some energy. That's always what I'm going for is like some movement and energy. I want it to have that right away. And then I like to use those elements and like work with those elements while I'm painting rather than adding them later. Uh, after that, I'm just putting a basic drawing in uh, with a, a brown paint. Um, trying really to think about proportion of the figure and how I want the composition of the painting to look. Not not thinking about details, obviously. It's just a very, very basic block in. Um, and then I use a little paper towel to wipe out the light areas. So that's basically so I can see the form better. And it's a way for me to make sure things are, are looking how I want before I add more paint. So it doesn't get too thick too, too quickly. And then once I have that worked out, now you see I'm starting to add the uh, skin colors and the basic tones of the paint, sort of going with like mid values, I would say. Nothing too bright, nothing too dark. It's interesting if you see on the uh, left side of the painting, the drips that are coming down. Um, that's just because I used a lot of mineral spirits when I was doing the wash, but that's the type of like happy accident or just unexpected thing that happens that I really enjoy and I try to work with. And I wasn't planning it, but when I saw it happening, I knew I wanted to incorporate some of that and like keep some of that look till the very end. So that was in my mind at this point. So I'm still just building up the form now and I'll let you know right away. I'm going to start painting the face, but it's too big. It's not exactly in the right spot. So I, I work on the face for a, a while and then all of a sudden realize it's not right. And then you'll see how I try to correct it. And I'll explain that a little bit more in a second when I do that. But I think it's good for you guys to see that sometimes not everything goes smoothly. Like basically all of this face painting I'm doing right here is a waste. It's not, but it's not a waste because it's still helping me figure things out. But not everything goes perfect. Sometimes it's hard with small paintings especially to get the proportions of the face right. You have a tendency or I have a tendency to want to make the face a little bigger because it's just hard to paint really small for me. So I think right around here I'm starting to realize it's just not exactly in the right spot. And right there you see me making that little mark. That is because I realized that's where I needed the neck to be. It was too far over. So I'm sort of carving out with the background where the face needs to be. And then I'm just going to sort of wipe out the mouth and just sort of rebuild the form without completely wiping out the entire face. Because like not everything about it was off. It was just a little bit too big. So I shrunk her down a little bit. In fact, that highlight above her eye 
was fine. Like I didn't really even need to move, change like the eye socket and the highlight on the head much. So now I'm, once I realized I needed to correct things, now I'm just sort of starting to rebuild the form and redoing the face. If this was a larger, like, bigger project, I probably would have done a slightly more detailed underpainting and would have caught something like that earlier. But when you're doing a quick, you know, painting that maybe is only going to be a couple days, sometimes you just get into it too quickly and, and miss some things. It's a mall stick I have that I use so I can rest my hand on it without actually touching the painting. Very useful. So now that all the midtones are really established I'm, and I have some highlights in the face, now I can start to like add highlights to the rest of the painting. So her shirt needs to be brought up to the right lightness value and I'm going to do that to the arm as well. Also making like small corrections along the way, like I think I realized the arm needs to be like a tiny bit thicker. So as I'm painting it, I'm thinking about those things. And sometimes I like to use that tool to just sort of add different textures and smooth things out sometimes. And I purposely sometimes will like drag it through to the neck, like through the arm into the shirt just to uh, make the edges a little bit more interesting. I think we're getting close to the end of this recording. I did not record the very end of like the details on the face and on the... Well, I guess I did most of it, but anyway, I didn't record the very last details. But you guys get a pretty good sense of how this one went and I hope you enjoyed it a lot. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I'll try to answer most of the questions and I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. I will be posting more of these soon and I'm planning on doing a live video next week so stay tuned for that and I think that's about it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.